ID uh, came about around a year ago because I played a, a concert with these two musicians and we only had one rehearsal before the gig. My tunes were already quite easy to play and at some point I thought that maybe this rehearsal is not needed. We could already play the gig without the rehearsal. When I was talking with Elise, the sound engineer, he was talking about this album by Jack White, who did the fastest record ever done. And he said, yeah, you could try to do the same with a jazz album. And then I thought this, this was a brilliant idea. So, yes, here we go. Let's try to make it happen. Record, produce, mix, craft an entire album in one day. So it's now 8.43. We left the, my rehearsal space, packed all the gear. And at night we're meeting with the whole team and yeah, start recording some nice music. moment we wake up until the end of the day uh, we have a full album in our hands physically so that means that the musicians arrive at the studio and they have never seen the music before the mix is done in real time by Ulysse on sound the graphic designer is at the studio as well she's getting ins inspired by the music and she does the whole graphic design and then at the end of the day we decided to put everything on a custom USB stick with a nice box and everything is on there at the end of the day. Sometimes in a rehearsal when you play a tune for the first time the magic immediately happens. The fact of having this moment being recorded and uh, I think it makes the, the, the music really beautiful because when you don't have a rehearsal and you have to play immediately then uh, you, really, you really need to open your ears and really listen to what the other players are, are, are playing. This shaped the whole way uh, for me of composing this music to really have something um, both simple but still interesting. When I compose for this project, um, I'm really looking for simplicity. So I usually try to write tunes that are fitting on one page with a simple melody so that the, the musicians can immediately play the tune. It gives also a lot of responsibility to the musicians to, to really use what I composed and make music out of it. Because if you would just read the page like this, it's not a tune yet. We have to play with it and, and make music with it.
excites me a lot is the fact that I can play together with other people who feel the same way in playing music in an instant. This magic that happens in this uh, jazz vibes uh, is something I really like. Because I, I, I notice also for myself that I, I find the most creative uh, inspiration in a, an instant moment and not always in working a long time on something. I feel like it's meant to be approached in this way, so in a super in the moment and fresh way and that's also the super exciting thing I think about the whole project. <laughs> Another thing I wanted to, to recreate with these special conditions in the studio is to go back a bit to the essence of the, the classic jazz recordings. There's this very famous sentence uh, of Miles saying, I play it first and then tell you what it is later. So the, the fact of of having the music never seen before uh, brings also this this focus and this excitement of the musicians. So of course, um, recording and doing everything in one day uh, doesn't mean that I just came here with my hands in my pockets and didn't prepare for it. Uh, I've been starting to work on this a year ago. I composed the tunes, I, I prepared everything so that the schedule would be really um, minute per minute, very precise. And then putting all the pieces of the puzzle so that when the day comes, you know that everything's gonna run smooth. It guys, Yay. we freaking did it! <laughs> Check that out! It looks beautiful. I'm really, really, really happy. Uh, thanks everyone for joining this project. It was really a pleasure. And yeah, that's it. Bravo! Bravo. Now that it's done, um, I'm both very excited because I'm finally gonna be able to present this music to, to everyone and at the same time I know that it's only half of the work. The next step is to see people's face when we play the music live and uh, yeah, I can't wait for that. <laughs> Thank you.